Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My voice is once again <clears throat> sort of gone, sort of there. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Finally, after so long, I'm filming a video. This is my first video for the year 2020, and that's why I'm just sitting here chatting with you all, giving you all a brief review of what exactly happened with me personally in 2020, how January basically was, whilst also getting ready for another wedding I have to attend like literally in an hour so if you're interested in watching this video where i use all my favorite products get ready for a wedding finally i've not done any wedding video in the in this december january season so finally thought i would do a wedding get ready with me yes the lighting is a little off here and there in the video and also right now but uh, it is a very chilled out video where i'm just sharing some part of my personal life which i usually don't do on youtube so i hope you guys enjoy it and if you do let me know in the comments so i'll do more of these kind of videos for now if you want to see how i got this beautiful look which is super simple did it very fast and also want to know a little more about my personal life about how my january was then please keep on watching okay so let's begin i've not done this in so long i feel i've lost the hang of it uh but yeah i'm gonna start by prepping my skin and i'm gonna start by using the nutriderm vitamin e moisturizing lotion they actually sent this to me in pr a couple of weeks back and i've been using it ever since and i really like the texture of it because it uh is suitable for all skin types. like it's very moisturizing when you apply it to your face but it sinks so fast into the skin that then you don't feel that stickiness like now you can feel like okay I have moisturizer but I don't like the feel of that so once I really massage it well into my skin it sinks so beautifully in my pores and also because it has dimethicone in it it blurs out your pores and also works as a primer if you don't believe in primers you can use this well underneath your makeup so I've been testing it out every day actually since the day I got it and I've been really really liking it. Like, for primer I'm using my Chambord Anti Shine Primer. Yeah so like I was saying let me just give you a review of how my 2020 has been so far. Like the memes on Instagram are rolling, January has been the longest month ever I feel of my life. Uh, there's been so much that has happened in the month of Jan. Actually starting from December there were a lot of like friends, family who came all the way from abroad for the Christmas festival season and Jan in the beginning of January continued from December it was all about social events, socializing, family parties, going out all of that stuff and uh, yes if you've seen my Instagram you will know that now I'm in a long distance relationship with my long time friend uh, so yeah I'm dating him and he was leaving in January so we were spending a lot of time together in the first five days then he left and that was like the most tough part of January for me it was a real something I've never done before okay so continuing I need to uh, rush with my makeup as well for foundation I'm using the NYX total drop control foundation okay I'm blending this in while I tell you uh, not a lot I don't want to be sharing a lot about my relationship or anything but just that I am uh, in one and I am doing the whole long distance thing which is very tough because I've never done it before and I've never even been in a long term relationship before so and most important of all is that he's my friend he was my friend for three years before we started dating so it's very difficult to even be away from your friend for that matter forget the boyfriend aspect of it so yeah that is what happened in the first week of Jan for me I was sharing all of this on Instagram stories, not in depth, just like images. I haven't even been posting on my feed on Instagram. So everything was a real fast paced blurred movie for me. And yeah, after after that got over in uh, on around the 5th of Jan, I was fully engrossed in this conference that we were having in college. So on my Instagram, I was sharing about OTCon, which was um, the Occupational Therapy All India Occupational Therapy Conference. I am, uh, of course, if you've been following me since a while, you know that I don't do YouTube full time. Uh, I am a student at KEM, I'm studying Occupational Therapy. And so, uh, since we are in the final year, this was the year that we attend the All India National Conference. And not just that, we were the hosting college. KEM was the hosting college. There was just a lot on the plate, a lot of events, a lot of competitive events, hence a lot of practice, a lot of hard work. Just too much of physical, mental, emotional, 
everything went into that conference and that took a toll on a lot of things took a toll on how much time i would spend uh, forget social media youtube and instagram had to be on hold uh, everything all my time energy like we're putting everything we had into the conference which definitely bore fruits uh, on the last day of the conference we won the maximum prizes and um, yeah it was very very worth it because we put a lot into it and uh, then at the end of it like it all just tied it together okay going ahead with the concealer i'm using the la girl pro conceal hd in the shade medium beige so going ahead the conference finally came and uh, we were like finally all the hard work was coming forward we were all doing our thing it was like a three day conference and uh, there were day and night events all day all night we were at the venue um, of the conference and attending it simultaneously taking part in our competitive events and then came the third day which was the prize distribution day which was like the most awaited one and yeah i was very emotional i feel like all the run up to the conference was already very very uh tedious and also emotionally challenging because i was not able to make any time for faj for my house for my family or my friends or even my boyfriend for that matter and uh i had to just keep everything on hold and put all i had into the conference once i did that i really wanted it to bear fruit eventually and so i was like very emotional on the last day of the conference like our show our performance went really really well everybody praised us like we were very happy with the way it went literally when i went off stage i cried i came off i i did the fashion show for all of you all who don't know if you don't follow me on instagram i was a part of the competitive fashion show and the competitive poster uh, competition which was a scientific part of it and the fashion show was the cultural part of it so when i went off stage i had literally cried people were coming and hugging me everything is a blur i don't know who came and hugged me who was telling me it was amazing everybody loved it this that but i was crying because one that we did it we finally pulled it off and two this was probably the last time now there's a lot of shadow that's going to come on my face i'm really sorry about that the lighting is going to suck cuz it's pretty much time for sunset so i'm going to rush with this um yeah so like i was saying that it would be the last time that i'm on stage in college because all the four years of my col college life in km i've done the fashion show uh, i didn't do it in my third year but i did all the other years and i've done inter college shows and like i really really love the stage life i love doing it and that i was very emotional that that would probably be the last time i was on stage especially representing km uh that was one of the things the other things was all the effort just came down on me the tiredness the fatigue got to me and the same thing happened in the prize distribution day like i was observing a pattern that our college was getting the second prize like it was receiving the second prize and when they announced the fashion show the second prize already went to another college i started bawling my eyes out i was like gone it's gone it's not coming home and uh, i was very upset and uh, I was just waiting for him to announce the first prize. Everyone was looking at me like, "We'll get the first prize. We'll get the first prize." I, I was not hopeful at all. And then when it happened, I just threw everything I had down and I ran to the stage. I cried. I like controlled myself on the stage, but I cried the minute I came down. It was very emotional, very taxing. I think the fatigue really, really got to me. Using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Okay, so yes, uh, ignoring this horrible shadow which is coming on my face. we finally um got done with the conference and the hangover was tough it was like 3 to 4 days i was only sleeping going to college coming home of course there was no off from college uh, the next very next day we started going back to college regular life and finally when we've gotten over the conference we have more events coming up in college it's the farewell the convocation and all of that the regular college life which is what we do every year so it's okay that's not so challenging or taxing but the conference was really really a big big part and major reason of why i could not make any time for youtube and then after i could get over that it was my birthday last week so yeah i was really like looking forward to my 21st birthday i finally turned 21 people have thought i've been looking 21 since forever so for i am taking the morphe x jeffy star i shall have i'm actually going to do a very quick eye look uh one because i'm very tired i'm taking the shade high dude uh which is a matte brown with a nice sequence shimmer and putting it all over my lid and crease 
So after my birthday, which was a very nice affair, I went out with my friends. This is the first year I bunked college on my birthday. I usually go every year, but this year I didn't want to. I went out with uh, my aunt uh, for lunch to Yangcha, which is the first time I was trying Asian food. Never tried Asian before, and I really, really liked it. And then I went out with my parents for dinner. I also went out clubbing the night before uh, my birthday. So it was really good and a very nice day we were starting with my best friend's sister's elder sister's wedding so once again if you've been checking my instagram you would know that i was attending that wedding and it was like a three day affair a day and night affair so i was going to college and then coming home and then attending the wedding so yeah it was really really beautiful this is the first time i've seen a proper proper hindu wedding a north indian wedding actually and north indian weddings are in the middle of the night so last night the feras were supposed to start at 1 start at 2 2 in the night and uh, we've asked this is the la latest we've ever stayed for a wedding all of us not just me all of us and we were all there at the venue which was luckily closed from our houses uh, and we were there till 5 am because in the feras and the bidai and everything came home damn tired uh, sat for some time then my other two friends left and I've slept I've just been sleeping getting up sleeping getting up and finally woke up at 4 o'clock and here I am filming this video getting ready for another wedding which is this evening which is of another best friend of mine her elder sister is getting married today so a lot of weddings to attend so just I, all in all January has been spent socializing I feel uh, I haven't been able to do much for myself personally either skincare wise or health wise even my medicines are all for a toss and neither YouTube wise or even my cases and words everything is just like hanging uh, by the noose so I'm going to take control of my my personal work in Feb hopefully because Jan was like important all of these things were important I had to give time to everything so I thought I would do this video where I just give you all a review of exactly what happened in Jan. There's nothing major personally in my life. It was just me having to attend all of this because these are like my close loved ones. And uh, yeah, Otikon was important to me as well. So yeah, that's about it. That's what happened in the month of Jan. Longest month ever. I think a lot has happened worldwide too. Taking the Ofra Cosmetics bronzer. So like I was saying, there's a lot happening all over the world. Like we've been seeing on the internet, there's the world war threat that has happened, Australian bushfires which were horrible, so many animals died in that. There's just so much going on, so many things we don't even know about, so many things that the media doesn't report. And also the most important news I think that hit me uh, from Instagram was the Kobe Bryant helicopter crash that happened. Personally, I'm not a sports person, didn't even know who he was till I heard this news but it was so heart-wrenching to know that overnight um, a mother lost both her daughter and her husband and that's just horrible no matter who they were no matter how good they were which I feel they definitely he was a legend like from the posts I'm seeing and a lot of people were upset but most importantly I don't know how she is coping so so sad uh, it was the it was the most like I read her post on Instagram and cried not even knowing who she was so that just shows how much Instagram or social media or a person's presence online affects the world, affects the other people who are following him. So when we are mean to someone on the internet or when we do show social media hatred just by not even knowing that person and saying that it's okay I can say this because I don't know them or hiding behind a screen it's fine, it's safe to say it because if you were in person, face to face with that person would you say the same things you say on the internet like I'm talking hate wise people who leave hate on posts like I my personally even I receive hate on posts not so much because I'm not that big yet but the bigger you are on social media the more hate you receive and I feel like every human behind their phones checking Instagram is a human at the end of the day no matter how big no matter how famous no matter which celebrity no matter how small a celebrity or how big a celebrity everyone feels the pinch, feels hurt when they read something so disgusting online 
being said about themselves. So I think we should be very, very careful what we see on the internet because literally everything matters. Everything you put out in the world comes back to you and does affect somebody. So we should be very, very cautious about that. I'm just taking the Maybelline uh, cheeky blush uh, in the shade Coral, I think. and. Stippling this, I don't think you can see much because now the sun has set and all I have is the recessed lights So I'm really rushing with my makeup uh, I just wanted to film like a quick video. I know this is not the most Professionally short video on my channel, but just like the old school days. I'm sitting here talking to you all I feel like I've not done this in very long So this had to sort of kind of be my first video back in 2020 where I'm just sitting and chatting with you all and hopefully I'm going to socialize less in Feb I don't have any commitments also so I'm going to socialize less and be able to make up for the loss uh, of my YouTube channel like all my analytics are like going down and looking at that is also depressing so yeah I'm going to try to get control of my life from February like Jan I'm just going to take it as a part of 2019 it's over it's gone let's start afresh from February uh, yesterday was already for the first of Feb no, today is the first of the wedding. I don't even know the dates. Okay, I'm making the K Beauty Kajal, which I've been loving so, so, so much. Really, really enjoying the K Beauty Kajal. If you're looking for a new Kajal, you should definitely try this out. And I really like her brand because it's very inclusive. I was seeing a lot of reviews lately of K Beauty. And I realized the lipstick shades and all are so beautiful. They're so inclusive and also very affordable. So I also want to purchase some and maybe do like a short review on Instagram since so many uh, YouTube videos already exist about it. Maybe I could just do one on Instagram. So let me know in the comments uh, if that's something you're interested in seeing, the K-Beauty lipsticks. I'm taking the Lacme Absolute Shine Line Eyeliner. I'm just going to quickly apply lipstick. I'm using the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mocha. And then I'm going to do my brows and lashes and stuff. Didn't even set my face. I'm all over the place in this video. I like this color but I just hope the lipstick was a little more long lasting. You know I've done a review on this you know already. If you don't you can go check that review out. Using the NYX Dewy Finishing Setting Spray just quickly going to set my face. So for lashes, I'm taking the Gloomier Beauty Eyelashes in the style Soho. You know, I love those eyelashes. The last video I did was my favorites video. If you have not already checked it out, you should. I'm just topping uh, my lipstick off with the MAC Taupe lipstick for it to look more brownish. Finally gonna fill in my brows because I always forget to do that uh, but never leave without doing my brows using the Miss Claire brow pencil Okay, so that's about it. This is the finished look. One more thing I realized while getting ready that I forgot to mention in this video that I've gotten done is I colored my hair finally. Uh, this is the first time I colored my hair. I've never done it before. Uh, so my hair was jet black all this while. I made a very spontaneous decision on my birthday. Uh, like I decided in the morning and I went in the afternoon and got it done. So I've done like a mahogany copper balayage and uh, it looks really good if it's in sunlight. I really like it because it's subtle. I didn't want something with very in the face. Because this was my first time and I didn't know how well it would go with my hair and my skin tone. So uh, I like it. I'm happy I got something crazy done because I wanted to do something for my 21st for myself and uh, yeah and this is how it looks in the sun I don't have a proper photo and since I was so much in a rush with everything my birthday also just came and went uh, I did not like put it on Instagram you know so it's okay it's fine I really loved it uh, so this is all that happened I'm just gonna quickly put on some earrings and close out this video which was a total all over the place video but I hope you forgive me and I hope you enjoyed anyway I'm just gonna put some earrings and be right back okay so I have this beautiful pair I got from Manish Nagar long back you know I get all my earrings from Manish Nagar Char Bangla that is my favorite go to place 
uh, this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed I know this video was all over the place I didn't even follow the regular order that I do but I hope you guys enjoyed it nevertheless just want to sit down here finally film a video feel like I'm in my comfort zone and chat with you guys about what's been happening I hope you guys enjoyed uh, if you did then please don't forget to hit the like button if you don't follow me on Instagram then I think you definitely need to because any update about my personal life the minimum I can give, I give it out there. So yeah, please do follow me on Instagram. And if you're new to my channel, then please don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm definitely going to be regular from February. I have no more commitments. And yeah, we are hopefully going to make 2020 a little better than it's been so far. Uh, how was your 2020 going? Sound off below. Let me know. Let's have a nice chat. I've not spoken to y'all in so so long i missed you guys and i'm gonna come back with a new video next sunday see you then bye guys love y'all